So I was just sitting on the porch, right? And I was, you know, taking a little break from the grass and um, picking out the pine, piney coney thingies. And uh, I saw these small birds, right? And I think these were like some small black birds. And they were chasing this falcon. Or I don't know if it was a falcon or, or what. But it was a, a big, you know, one of those big, huge birds. It wasn't an eagle, but it was it was a falcon, I'm sure. So check this out. So the the little the the blackbirds were chasing the falcon, and you know, normally you would think that the the birds would be smaller because the falcon's bigger than them. But they were, boy, they were giving that falcon a run for his money. They were actually after that falcon. I think because the falcon was trying to take their baby or something like that maybe either one of the eggs or maybe one of their newly hatched babies or something like that you know what i mean and <laughs> hey he was chasing that falcon boy he was he was trying to get away from them you know i guess he thought he would be able to do it you know take with their baby because you know because he's bigger than them and all that but that ain't have nothing that literally didn't have uh them them birds didn't care you know that was a little a little chick and all that and it was like a good five or six small black birds chasing that falcon you know what i'm saying and that brings up something uh, a little lesson and what that brings up is is that when you have when you have um people working with you to help you with stuff you know you know whether it's with jobs um whether it's with starting a business whether it's with sports or, you know, working out, whatever. You know, when you have community, when you have people who are helping you, you know, helping you with making progress, it may not be easy to achieve the goal you're trying to achieve. But when you have people like those birds, those birds were united in the fact that that falcon, they knew that the falcon was trying to take their little chick. You know what I'm saying? And so they wouldn't, they wouldn't let that falcon get away with it because if they let the falcon get away with taking, you know, taking their little baby and stuff, then the falcon's going to come back and try to take, you know, take their other little babies and stuff like that. And they trying to survive, you know, for the most part, birds tend to get along, but you know, they, the, you know, I think the falcon upset that balance today with the other birds and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, having people to support you and help you and that's watching out for you and watching out for your best interest is super important because if you don't have those people helping you out then you know you could be in danger and if somebody you know doesn't see what's going on and they you know they don't step up to be with you then unfortunately you can wind up getting hurt and I, that's more of the extreme example but what about other things you know what i'm saying if you know someone you know knows about a job and they know you're looking for a job because let's say you're unemployed right and you know somebody you know a couple of your friends or a couple of your relatives knows about this job or that job and they say hey go go to this place and apply i know this person you know they'll give you a job and stuff like that and sure you may be like oh well that job you know i can't see myself doing that job or whatever but the job is money you know what i'm saying and if you go for that job, you know, if you don't hurry up, somebody else will go and snatch up that job. You know what I'm saying? And you may not necessarily be there for a long time. You may be there for a bit until you get yourself together. However, you know, it's important to take advantage when people are trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very important. You know, it's a good idea to, you know, if you don't agree with what somebody's saying about a job or whatever, you can say, eh, maybe not. Or you can try it out and see if you can get it. You never know, you may get it. But jobs these days, it's hard to get them. You know what I mean? So, you know, going and, you know, trying out for something that somebody can recommend and, you know, speak up for you, for you to get is very helpful. You know what I mean? And it's not just for jobs either. Let's say, um, let's say you're at a, a hardware store and you're looking for a lawnmower, Right. And let's say you don't know which lawnmower to choose and you have somebody, you know, you have a couple people that's there, you know, there's customers at the store like you and they say, oh, you should get this lawnmower right here. And you say, why should I get that lawnmower? You know, the first thing when someone says they see you're looking at a lawnmower and they try to strike up a conversation with you, it's OK to speak with them. You know, what I'm saying they're probably, you know, trying to make the awkward silence less awkward. You know what I mean? And, you know, 
if you're looking at a lawnmower and you're saying, man, I don't know which lawnmower to choose. And then they say, oh, you know, I bought, uh, I bought a few lawnmowers and I bought all these lawnmowers here and tested them out. And this lawnmower right here will be a good fit for you. You know, what kind of what kind of yard you dealing with? You know, you got hills or flatland or whatever, you know, this lawnmower will help you out. And plus it's self you know, it's self propulsion. So you don't have to put in the work to push it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, this person's recommendation can actually help you. And maybe that day you may not get that lawnmower, but when you get paid, you might get that lawnmower. You know what I mean? That's another example. What about a situation where, you know, you're looking for a place to go on vacation? You know, and you're like, man, where should I go on vacation? I've been different places. Where should I go? And, you know, you have somebody that uh, that's a neighbor of yours and they say, oh, well, you know, I went on vacation to this place. You know, not p many people know about it, but this is a really beautiful, wonderful, tropical place you can go to. There is all these benefits and stuff. And, you know, since a lot of people don't know about it, you know, you can get pretty good deals going to this particular place. You know what I mean? And so... You know, you look up the place and stuff like that. And let's say you book that vacation. When you book that vacation and you find out, you find out your neighbor was right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a good idea to, you know, be open to talking to people. You know, if you have a creepy vibe about somebody, no, you don't have to talk to them. But, you know, if there's somebody, you know, a lot of times in everyday life, you have people who can help you. It's not just your family or friends, but it can be other people that you happen to run across. Um, once I was at a free food event where, um, they were giving away free food and I was standing in line and this lady, um, that was in front of me, she has some bags in her pocket, you know, and I was wondering what she was getting out of her pocket and she has some bags in her pocket and stuff. And I didn't have anything to put the free food in. And so the lady gave me some of the bags she had. She said, here, here's some, you know, she said, you know, here. And I was like, and I accepted it. You know, accepting things that people give you is good, too, provided it's something that's going to help you. There's this birdie that's hopping around. Uh, <laughs> I think he's trying to get a worm or something like that. But, yeah, you know, accepting, accepting, you know, help from people, you know, can really help you move forward. You know, it can really move you forward. Um, I had a conversation with a girl at a Walmart, and she was looking for some... Um, uh, she was looking for some pads. Um, when I was growing up, my mom called them uh, sanitary napkins. And um, this girl was looking for some pads and stuff like that. I think she was in her 20s and stuff like that. She could have been the same age I was, maybe. But she was like, uh, you know, I don't know which pads to get. And I gave her the recommendation of the pads that I use. And then she was like, you know, she didn't seem okay with that. But she, I think she ended up choosing some pads. But even though she went ahead and chose those pads that she chose... You know, she's going to still remember the ones that I used and stuff. So if the ones she bought don't work out, she'll come back to the store and she'll, I'm sure she'll get the ones that, uh, that I was recommending and she'll remember me and be like, yeah, that girl recommended to me that I get these. Let me see how these work. And she may find that she likes them. You know what I mean? Who knows, right? But, you know, accepting from other people, you know, accepting help from other people, you know, you may not, you may not even know when you'll get helpful recommendations, but getting that help and getting people to work with you can totally make things a lot easier than you just doing it by yourself you know what i mean just like them birds i was telling you about they was chasing them black birds was chasing that falcon because they was trying to let that falcon know hey you can't just come over here and take our little baby for your you know to eat and stuff because you're gonna be back if you get too comfortable so they was like, oh, no, we're going to chase you off right now so we can keep our little nice little ecosystem where we can our little babies can be safe and grow up and everything. You know what I mean? So and that's that's what you got to do sometimes. You know, it's important, you know, to watch out for your safety. And, you know, what I'm saying make sure that people around you are safe. You know what I mean? You you never know what can happen. But it's always good to, you know, just keep an eye out. Watch, you know, see what's going on. You know, I tell people always be aware of, you know, who lives around you, who doesn't, who are guests visiting your neighbors, who aren't. Because that helps you distinguish whether somebody is supposed to be around you or not. Those birds, because they had the awareness of what was supposed to be around them, that actually helped them when it came to chasing off that falcon. Because if they was just, you know what I'm saying, off saying oh nothing's gonna happen to our babies or whatever oh nothing's gonna happen if they was just had that mentality and was just like going for the okie doke like oh well nothing's gonna happen to our babies you know what i'm saying then the baby could have been taken but 
they had somebody standing guard to make sure that, hey, th nobody's going to get to this baby. And it might have been that the Falcon thought he could get the baby. And then they ambushed that Falcon and they got the jump on him and they chased his little butt off. You know what I'm saying? Not little, but they chased his self off. You know what I'm saying? He's huge compared to them, but they chased his ass off. You know what I mean? So important. You know, these are some important lessons that I, you know, I just got from some birds. So, um, you know, just stay aware, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.